Earlier, Arirang News Center invited Olympic skeleton racer Chong Seung Gi to the studio. The 22-year-old believes he'll have what it takes to get on the podium four years from now. Our Olympic correspondent Han Seung-woo has the full story. Tenth in the world. That's how good Beijing 2022 skeleton racer Chong Seung Gi has become. Since jointly carrying the Olympic flag into the opening ceremony of the previous Winter Games in Pyeongchang as a bright young prospect four years ago. What an honor it was for me to carry the Olympic flag that day when my home country was hosting the Games. The experience pushed me to work even harder to achieve my dream of competing on the grandest stage. Chung was the only Korean athlete at the Beijing Winter Olympics to finish among the top 10 in a sliding event an accomplishment he made despite being without a racer's most trusted companion, his helmet. This helmet with Kobuk-san or the Korean battleship turtle ship has the Korean flag on the back. The reason I had the Kobuk-san imprinted on this helmet was to remind myself to be fearless like the worship when racing down the track. But inside, I was denied permission from the IOC to wear this helmet, so instead, I decided to spell the word Kobuksan out on this helmet, which I actually wore in competition. Racing with him in the heats as both a compatriot and competitor, though, was 2018 gold medalist Yun Sung Bin, who, despite going through a slump, helped Chung relieve the anxiety that naturally comes with an Olympic debut. Many people in Korea equate skeleton racing with Yoon Song Bin, and I do too. He is a legend whose success gives me confidence that I can also achieve great things in the sport. I learned a lot from competing against him in Beijing. Simply racing in his presence had a positive influence on me. Not even a week has passed since the Winter Olympics came to an end. But Chung, hungry for more, already has his eyes set on making history in the next one. Like we discussed, my biggest competitive advantage lies in my start, which I'll have to improve. As for my steering, it's a matter of experience. With an extra four years under my belt, I think I'll have what it takes to win a medal in Italy. Raising hopes that in Milano Cortina 2026, Korea may see two of its skeleton racers, including a rejuvenated Yun, grace the Olympic podium. In four years, I see myself sitting right here with a shiny medal in my hand. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.